I blundered my queen in a winning position, so I guess you could say that I officially played the Botez Gambit. Since I do explain each move that is in this game, it actually could give you some good lessons. The first lesson it gives is that it explains how to play against a Rosalimo with your Sicilian defense. Number two, it shows that we're all human and stronger players blunder pieces too, even their lady. Number three, it shows the tenacity of my opponent still playing on until the end of the game. So watch and enjoy. And he has it at 10 minutes. Honestly, I wouldn't mind doing like a 10-5 a here. I wouldn't mind doing like a 10-5 here so that I can explain my moves. <clears throat> but let's continue on going. So I'm a Sicilian player. And so I'm going to do the Sicilian. And I'm a knight to c6 Sicilian player. And he plays the Rosalimo. Which now I decided to... I used to play g6 a lot. But I decided to do the move um, d6. Because I feel like I get better structures. Uh, definitely a better pawn structure. And so they're going to do the move h3 to prevent me from ever going to bishop to g4. So we are going to do a bishop to d7. Oh, the server restarts in 20 minutes? Okay, that makes sense. So that's why he didn't um, do an increment. Gotcha. So I have two options here. I can recapture with the bishop or I can recapture with the pawn. I usually recapture with the pawn because it makes the position more dynamic. And then my next move is going to be doing e5. After the move e5, so I could do actually a lot of moves here. We're gonna go to the safe route. I know in a last game, I did like bishop e7, do g5. You can attack very easily with the black structure here and it's actually masters have played it, but <clears throat> we could do the move f5, which is pretty solid, pretty simple. Knight to c6, bishop e7, castle king side. What do you think is the best way for a beginner to learn and read books? Hmm, the best way, you just gotta, first of all, you just gotta sit down, get a chessboard and read the book and follow the positions inside the book. Secondly, uh, we're gonna, I already told y'all, we're just gonna do knight to c6, bishop e7 in a castle. But secondly, the best way for you to learn is just keep on analyzing your mistakes. I'm thinking I can fianchetto. I kind of like fianchetto in this position, but I didn't go that deep into the theory here so we're just going to do a quick bishop e7 which i think is fine too and castle and king side it seems correct i don't see nothing wrong with it so we're just going to go with it you didn't look at my joke what joke you have auto promote wait a minute what joke what joke what joke why is the king afraid of going to the doctor he doesn't like being checked <laughs> that's hilarious you know what? New joke. There you go. That's being pinned. It's replacing my pin. Somebody that actually listened to me and participated. I appreciate it. Not a belly laugh, so we're going to have to try harder on that joke. Nice game. Thank you. Thank you. What do you think is the best? Okay. Uh, I love how in-depth you're explaining things today. I think this will help lower rate rank play. Yeah, and that's why I'm doing it. That's why I'm doing it today because I'm primarily a teacher more than just a guy that plays chess on the internet. So <clears throat> we're in this middle game here and I got a few thoughts that I could do and they're playing pretty fast too. They're playing pretty fast. So maybe we can just think more than them and actually consider our moves. So rook to b8, we got, we got a5 because they're trying to, their main threat is doing b4. Their main threat is definitely doing b4. <clears throat> So I feel like that's something to reply to. I can't do rook to b8 because after b4 still, c takes on b4, a takes on b4, rook takes on b4, rook takes on a7. There's not really a tactic that I can do at the end of that. And I don't really even think that I'm better at the end of that. I still have this capture. Let's just consider all of them. You always got to consider all your captures in the center here. And... Yeah, no, we're just going to do the solid move and respawn. I'm going to have to play a little bit quicker, so I won't have time to actually dive right on deep to my calculations. But I will be calculating these um, checks, captures, and threats in this position. Are you doing a game review? Yeah, I'll do a game review afterwards to see um, if I'm losing or winning here. 
have fun, find a friend at the same level and smile. Yeah, that's a good way to do it too. That's a more like fun way to do it. That's a more fun way to do it. And just a reminder, the person who gifts the the top gifters, the top three gifters on TikTok just and the people who pay for the subscription will get the TTS during my streams on TikTok. And thank you for following. I appreciate that, Ram. So this is a pretty solid position. A5. There's nothing really going on here. I'm not going to do a move like D5 anytime soon because this knight can pretty much capture on E5. If I capture, capture, then that D6 pawn is a huge hole. And I'm thinking maybe weirdly enough here i'm thinking i could do f5 since they didn't capture this pawn usually theory is like capturing that pawn at least with the e pawn but i'm thinking i could do f4 and, and have a huge attack on the king side so i my gut is telling me it and that's what we're gonna go for if it's wrong so be it that's just a learning lesson from us um but we are going to go for this attack since the center is closed and one of the principles in chess is if the center is closed make sure your opponent knows <laughs> no i'm just playing the chess principle is if the center is closed then you usually want to attack on the flank and so um this queen side flank is not what we're strong at most of my pieces are already on the king side anyway so why not just do and these moves are coming pretty fast to h6 i don't think they can even move the bishop back they have to take the knight because after we do h6 bishop h4 g5 they're already they're already losing a piece rating coming from canty oh is that for real dang thank you for telling me it i'm gonna be i'm gonna be readying up i'm gonna be readying up all right so they're capturing the knight <clears throat> i could do rook takes on f6 that is a move which i can like decide to rook lift because they are technically helping me dang he rated with 245 viewers bro gm canty you're the goat man and that was a fun collaboration we're gonna have to do another one and nanami's in here too so we got two streamers to shout out we got nanami and we have gm canty we have nanami and gm canty Let's go. Dang, I'm probably going to lose this game, but, you know, it's it's worth it for these top streamers. Man, I'll be learning from y'all, man. So I appreciate all the support on Twitch because I, I'm still trying to get my bearings. I'm still trying to get my bearings. So thank you. I appreciate it. Let's go. Kenny with the assist. I know we're playing basketball today. <clears throat> I'm just followed. Thank you. I appreciate it. So after Rook takes on F6, they do have this move Knight to G4. And that's the only move that I really don't care that much about. I mean, and by when I say that, I mean, I do care about it. And I have to, like, try to fi try to figure out a right response for it. Sweetheart Drunk just followed. <laughs> Sweetheart Drunk is a crazy name. But anyway. <clears throat> so we're just going to do... So one thing about attacking the king side is that you have to decide two things. First of all, you got to decide if you're going to be attacking with the pieces or are you going to be attacking with um with the pawn storm. And so generally that's what I was looking at, like formations that I can attack their king side with my pieces. And I really didn't see that many. Plus this move queen going to h5 was pretty annoying too chess.com server going down in 10 minutes yeah thank you i i seen that we're gonna try to get this a 10 minute game done but if it goes down while we're playing this game i guess it's gonna be a draw jake 9180 just followed so queen h5 is a very very annoying move and with an annoying move we're gonna have to do a separate annoying move first of all just to be a little bit accurate we're gonna do rook to b8 first because queen h5 isn't really a threat Queen to h5, I'm going to repeat this. Queen to h5 isn't really a threat. And secondly, we, we might be thinking about either queen e8, just playing a good end game with two bishops, which, I mean, I don't mind rolling like that. That's just that's just generally what I do. 
or we could do g6 and actually go for the attack which now that i'm looking at g6 the uh, that's what we're gonna do we're gonna we're gonna actually go for the attack ignore all my instincts of trying to of trying to do a simple queen trade so <clears throat> now we're in another position and we need to like start storming with our pawns but i don't want their knight going here so this is what we're gonna do we're gonna do h5 we're gonna do h5 here h5 g5 g4 and just start pawn storming up my opponent very um aggressively cheeky monkey thank you for the follow uh, i love your chess music tips thank chess you jake i mean thank you um pra i appreciate it music chess man i see you kook kook to live i see you let's get it let's keep on going and thinking twitch more what do you mean yeah i'm playing franz right now just followed you seem cool thank you does he read chat? I'm reading it right now. When will you be playing Christo? Um, pretty soon. We're just setting up the collaboration. Spiny Watson 411 just followed. So the opponent is trying to move all their pieces to the queen side. I mean, to the king side. So these next moves might be a little bit inaccurate, but they're going to get the job done. So this is the pattern that I've seen. The quickest one. <clears throat> if there's a quicker one, then they're going to have to show me. And even if we don't get a full attack on their king, as long as we can get like an open position for both of our bishops, because their knights generally is better at closed positions than our bishops. If we can get a bigger attack and they get some type of advantage afterwards, then we're, we're doing good. We're going to clutch it up. Oh, they won't finish. What do you mean we won't finish? We're going to try to finish. I don't care what y'all say. <clears throat> Hey, if the evaluation tells me that I'm winning here, I'm taking that. I'm taking that win. <laughs> Weirdly enough, I'm thinking about stuff like, for example, the queen, the knight is pretty much useless at these squares. So their best moves might actually be like moving this rook somewhere and like rerouting their knight to a better square. Or they're going to have to, like, commit to a move like G G3. Drunk just, just followed. And if they have to commit to a move like G3, that's kind of crazy because I have the move Bishop takes on H3. So even G3 might not even be the best move. I don't know. This might already be lost for letting me get the F4 move. Oh, so now I got Ampasan option. <clears throat> the Ampasan option is there. So Ampasan, maybe like knight takes here is I'm thinking is their plan. Or queen can take to attack my G pawn here. And then I can push up. So I don't have that much time to actually consider all these moves. Evolves just followed. Yeah, I don't have that much time, so if Ampasant, they can't take back with the pawn because I could take this H pawn. So let me see what they're going to do, actually. After Ampasant, let me see their moves. <clears throat> so I can push up, maybe? Put the king to the side. Yeah, we're going to put the king to the side. I don't like the queen being on the same file as my queen, as my king. All right, so they're definitely opening up the position and that should favor, that should favor me, right? That should favor me. Once I start asking y'all questions, just know I'm very unsure. All right, so game time is over. It's, it's time to like start, start really thinking about the next moves. Game time is over. It's time to start thinking. What does white have here? Well, they are getting some activity with this knight move or this rook move. So they do have something. This is probably the best option or I was just going to slowly cramp down on their position. 
So we're gonna be a gonna be a little bit annoying here. Because there's nothing wrong in chess with being a little bit annoying. <laughs> yeah, we're <laughs> gonna be a, just a tiny bit annoying. <laughs> just a tiny bit. They might not like it, but we, we definitely do. We definitely do. And I got under one minute and I'm gonna treat him very seriously in this position. Treat him very seriously. And I did see this option. I did see this. I didn't think that it was good though. He's a very aggressive player and I'm giving him exactly what he wants, but I think I have a few more checks in my arsenal. I think I have a few more checks in my arsenal. Maybe not. Now, this is definitely... No! Should I just... I could go super solid right now. Oh, crap. Gonna do that. I forgot I'm down in material. I mean, I forgot I'm down on time. I'm gonna have to play this very strategically though, because if I don't, then I could possibly be losing. <clears throat> but I think I, I'm thinking I'm in a winning position. <laughs> That's my thought. <laughs> but I still have to show, I, I still gotta show the work. Thank you for the subscription, Nanami. I appreciate it. You're the GOAT. <clears throat> H1, rate my joke. Zachary, Zachary, where's your joke? H1 has kids, so it's funny. Wow. Okay. Bro, Zachary, chess players do not have kids. Uh, is it the mate joke? Because I think we already had that one. He's not a chess player. He's... He is a chess master. Hey, I appreciate it. Why do you? Uh, oh, yeah, we already had that one. That didn't make me laugh either. So you're going to have to try a little bit harder. Just a little bit harder. OK, so they went pretty passive with this next move, which we got 30 seconds left. So we might be losing on time. <laughs> we're going to make them work hard for it if we're going to be losing on time, though. Now we got some threats. Oh, that was just a queen. <clears throat> Dang it. Good game. That was just a queen. Why did I do that? <laughs> just chest blindness. I hate going down on time. No. Free queen. Ah, uh, come on, man. Don't do that. Don't do that. Hmm. I got a. F uh, yeah, good job on that. Good job. He finally got a win. Good job, bro. That was just a, a big chest blindness right there. Yeah, that was just a free queen. I didn't expect him to play that. He literally blundered his queen to get the to get the dub, even though I was completely winning. Completely winning. Six plus six. And he got the dub. Good job. 